Hey guys, Log here, and Corsair has really been killing it with their K-Series line of keyboards, but with the new introduction of the Strafe line, let's see if Corsair can keep their reputation as one of the top gaming keyboard manufacturers. So in terms of build quality, the Strafe does perfectly fine here. The body is made of an all-plastic build, and it has no observable flex. At the top, there's a Windows lock key and a lighting control button that cycles through three different brightness modes, not including off. Other than that, the entire layout is standard, which is a good thing. Now, the cable they have is not braided, but it's really thick. And at $110, I really would have liked to have seen a braided cable included with this. But the good thing is that this keyboard does offer USB pass-through, so you can stick, for example, a mouse into your keyboard, and that is why they have two plugs at the end of the cable. So along with that, Corsair also includes a little packet of keycaps that you can use for your FPS or mobile gaming, and that's also a really nice touch. So the switches I have in this keyboard are Cherry MX Red switches, and they have a red backlight. They do sell the Strafe for the Cherry MX Browns and Blues as well though. The Reds are linear switches, which means there are no bumps or clicks, and they sound like this. They take 2mm to actuate and 4mm to bottom out, though you can put o-rings which is a benefit of having a mechanical keyboard and that will make the bottoming out distance a little shorter and it will also dampen the sound. So let's talk about the backlighting on this keyboard. It's red, it's bright, and it's vibrant. There's really nothing much else to say. There are a plethora of lighting effects that you can use on the strafe, but I found that the software was a little bit clunky and hard to navigate. However, if you're just like me, you'll put it in standard lighting mode and never change it again, so it's up to you if that matters. Other than those things, it's really a no-frills keyboard. I mean, you can type well on it, it's good for gaming, and honestly, there's really nothing much to say about it. So if you're looking for a no-frills keyboard that performs well and has a backlight, definitely go check out the Strafe. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Subscribe for more tech videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.